Hi everyone, uh, my name is Daniel. And I'm Hits. And welcome to Ben Megan's recent record reviews, where we'll be talking about records that are recent. Anyway, today we'll be talking about uh, two albums, uh, actually about two EPs, I have right, to say. Two EPs, yeah. Yeah. One is from Singapore and one is all the way from America. Right? Berlin. Berlin, yeah, Berlin. she stays in Berlin right yeah. now. Anyway, yeah, so we'll be talking first about Anise from Singapore. Now, Anise is a singer songwriter from. Singapore, yes, the, this is what I said. But uh, anyway, she's actually part of the group called The Diarist, which is a collective of folk musicians. So she actually just put up her first ever debut LP, and it's titled Inward. And she she definitely joined force, forces with like a few Singaporean musicians, and it definitely shows in the instrumentation. But first, Hizzy, what do you think? Well, um, first and foremost, I'm not much of a singer songwriter guy. I'm not a uh, big on like you know melancholy. Acoustic guitars and, and that sort of thing. Uh, it's not my thing. I like it, but you know, yeah. it's not really my thing. But uh, Anissa's debut EP uh, grabbed me from the start. Yeah. Uh, as its title implies, in word, this title is in word. Uh, this is a very reflective, contemplative EP, full of like very brazen confessionals and uh, very vivid narratives. Uh, it's backed by producer Victor Lowe. Yes, Victor from Lowe, right? Hanging Up the Moon. From Hanging Up the Moon, uh, on guitar, bass, and percussion as yeah. well. So he gets a lot of dynamicism mm-hmm. in the instrumentation. Together with, um, I believe it's uh, Zongren Ka- Yeah, oh. he's actually played. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. which is amazing also. Uh, and like, uh, Anise mesmerizes on this with uh, delicate vocals, <laughs> acoustic guitar, and uh, even a clever use of strings once in a while, which is uh, very interesting. Uh, her approach doesn't exactly reinvent the wheel. Mm-hmm. But it's a really smooth, folky ride. Uh, I really enjoyed her lyricism on tracks like uh, Bones, which uh, presents us with a tumultuous and a sweeping love affair. And especially on a track called, uh, let me look at this, Pop Fiction. Pop Fiction, yeah. Which is about uh, the National Library controversy mm, yes. a while back, the, about, penguins, yeah, the, the penguin yeah. books that were, that were taken off the shelves. Uh, and those were all very, very uh, astute uh, observations that, For sure. uh, yeah. What do you think? Um, I agree, definitely. Uh, she, I, I think that she has definitely become one of the more brazen singer songwriters because, I think in Singapore a lot of singer songwriters tend to be very careful with what they write about. Sure. And of course, love is a very safe topic, but mm-hmm. especially with the song they talked about, Pop Fiction, she definitely yeah. stepped out of her comfort zone. And the fact that she joined forces with Victor and Chong Ren, mm-hmm. instrumentation is very lush. I would say it's one of the more artful singer songwriter records that has come out in recent memory in mm-hmm. Singapore at least. Yeah, for sure. Uh, definitely has echoes of like Humpback Oak or even Julia Holter's recent album or so. Mm-hmm. Um, it's very very precise, very ethereal, and like like you said, like you know, it, it would definitely appeal to the like, people who like melancholy singer songwriter records. And for me, it I definitely be have the mood for that, but like it was a pretty immediate listen. For sure. Yeah. yeah. So what what score will you give it? Um, I'm gonna give this an 8 out of 10. Mm. How about you then? I think I'll, be, I'll give it a 7.5. Nice. Yeah. So uh, we both really enjoy the record. Uh, yeah. You should definitely listen to it on Bandcamp. Yeah. And the next record I'll be talking about is DJ PayPal's new record called Sold Out. Uh, hailing from Berlin, DJ PayPal is one of the most innovative footwork producers out there. Um, he has been on a bunch of uh, record labels like Tech Life, uh, more, more, more music as well. Yeah, more yeah. music, uh, Lucky Me, Switch Tapes, and his own imprint, More Music. Uh, he raised a lot of eyebrows by choosing to release this new footwork album on Brainfeeder, which is not yeah. known as a footwork uh, record label. But once you start listening to it, you understand why. So uh, let me show it over to Dan. Uh, what do you think about DJ People's uh, newest album? Yeah, I think it's interesting that you were talking about how it was already a surprising decision for him to actually be, be to be on Brain Feeder because yeah. Brain Feeder has always been very LA centric and sure. they've always leaned towards the jazzier side. Um, if anything, uh, Footwork is more informed by like house mm-hmm. and maybe a bit of soul and funk, but. I think with this EP as well, he's actually introducing a bit of jazz context into a lot um, of jazz context, yeah, actually. into yeah. footwork, yeah. So, yeah. I think that was probably why Bring Feeder brought him on board, and I think this is good because um, this is definitely gonna open footwork to a new audience, even though it has got him some uh, exposure already. So, definitely, what I liked about it is it never took itself too seriously. Um, the beats were not totally rigid like most footwork records. Uh, if anything, the only guy who's been able to do that is DJ Rashad. So, 
obviously rest in peace. Um, but definitely, yeah, like one of the most interesting footwork records I've ever heard. Definitely stands alongside the other interesting footwork record that came out this year, Jalen's Dark Jaylen. Energy. Yeah. Yeah, and um, yeah, just run through us a bit, like what is Jalen and what is Dark Energy? Uh, Jalen is a female footwork producer, and Dark Energy is one of the most interesting uh, footwork records out here because of the way it plays with the footwork context. <laughs> uh, footwork yeah. is known for being between you know, 160 to 180 yeah. BPM. It's usually made for fleet-footed dancers. Uh, there isn't much melody or s- uh, fresh structure to it. Yeah, exactly. Usually. It gets repetitive after a it while. It gets repetitive, yeah. uh, which is kind of the point. It's, it's, for, it's for the dance yeah, floor, yeah. it's not for your ears. But uh, where Jalen and DJ Paypal is yeah. uh, striving to move it forward by making it ma- more melodic, yeah. slowing it down. I think if, if anything, Jalen is kind of moving away from the melodic aspect of for sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she makes it sound more cavernous and more. It's a lot of uh, negative space. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's it's it's. I, I would say it's more artful than for DJ sure. PayPal. Also, DJ PayPal's music is still party music, but Jalen is not something that you would definitely turn up at the club. Yeah, yeah. Unless if like a DJ can find a way to remix it in, but mm-hmm. like other than that, like you listen to it, it's a very headphones kind of uh, you know traveling kind of record mm-hmm. it's uh it's it's definitely pushing footwork in different places and for paypal he's definitely pushing it to a place where footwork is definitely more accepted into different scenes because footwork has always been a very chicago style mm-hmm. so i i would think with with paypal sold out it's definitely going to open a lot of doors for footwork and offer the better because we've been footwork fans for a while now so mm-hmm. I think if anything, this might be a groundbreaking moment for footwork and PayPal sold out is definitely a big part in that. Yeah, uh, much like the jungle producers in the UK, mm-hmm. um, the, for those of you who don't know, um, footwork has always been, <coughs> like Dan mentioned, a Chicago-centric genre. But when Planet Moo, uh, Mew Moo, mm-hmm. uh, from the UK released a footwork compilation called Bang Works and Bang, yeah. or I think. I think so. Yes. Uh, that, that, that's when it got a broader audience. Uh, a lot of the jungle producers added a drum and bass element. Banks and Works. Banks and Works. I'm sorry, I got my, that mixed up. Uh, re- they introduced the jungle and drum and bass element to footwork, which uh, introduced it to a whole new audience. Mm-hmm. It broke out all over the world. And now, I think this is, if I'm not wrong, uh, this is Jazz's first meeting with uh, Juke and Footwork. Yeah. And it's uh, the visceral free jazz wanderings throughout the LP that really expands on the brain feeder language and the footwork language as a, as a whole. Um, DJ Paypal is, uh, he utilizes the fly low association and brings in a lot of uh, tech life mates like DJ Tay, mm. uh, Felonizi, and DJ O. They are all featured here. And uh, they are all they are all given room to shine, but they, this is undoubtedly um, a PayPal record. A yeah. PayPal record, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that with the current, I guess it's connections with the Chicago scene and the LA scene right now. Yeah. This is probably the start of like a probably like a new age of football for sure. And which is funny because like I guess like with a name like DJ PayPal, you wouldn't take it so seriously. <laughs> yeah, but like, he's supposed modern in that yeah. sense. With and, name like that. Yeah, but I, I guess like on face value right now, you you wouldn't think that he'd be so serious. But actually, while it's a very playful record, it definitely has a lot of undertones which point to a new generation of footwork which should, we sh- that we should definitely take it, take notice of right now. I would yeah. definitely recommend the track, uh, the, the opening track called Awakenings, which is I feel the standout track of mm-hmm. the album. Yeah. Um, with this is just a teaser as to what uh, footwork is to come. It's, a, it's an advanced take on the genre and uh, although it's very very different from what DJ Rashad envisioned, uh, yeah. I'm sure DJ Rashad I think of course, of course it evolves every time. It evolves, so. yeah, but I'm sure yeah. this this is something that DJ Rashad will, will definitely approve of. Yeah. Uh, the, the final track on the album is called uh, We Finally Made It and it features DJ Rashad's prodigy, mm-hmm. uh, DJ O, uh, yeah. repeatedly going with Only Just Begun. Mm. And I feel that's that's the theme of this record and the theme of footwork going to 2016. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. So what would you rate today? Uh, this is a 9 out of 10 for me. Oh yeah? yeah. I'll definitely give it 8 out of 10. Nice, yeah. nice. So we both really, really love this record. Please check it out. So if you have any other record suggestions you would like to give to us, send it our way to the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.